Jeffrey and Anthony, Jim Jeffries has joined the program, and Hello. we couldn't be happier. We love Jim. Yes. Oh, that's very nice, yeah. Fucking asshole lives way too far away to become a regular on the show, so... If, if I was a regular, he wouldn't like me so much. So we get him when yeah. we can. It's nice if I just come in every now yeah, and again. just pop in, and every appearance is a winner. Yeah. Last time I was here, vomited in a garbage bin. <laughs> yeah, Still right. a performance. I, I, I've been spoken to one of my brothers for two years, and I get this text that just went, ha ha, you vomited in a bin. <laughs> <laughs> so, even though we don't get along anymore, it's just nice to know that he follows my career. Yeah, <laughs> yeah at least he's following. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, uh, that was, uh, what was the disgusting thing that was going that was, on? That made yeah, it was Jim Norton's, Norton's belly, belly button. button. Oh, his belly button stink. And I've been trying since to get my belly button to have some type of... Like, I just, like, left the puddleages in there and then gone to sleep. And then still nothing. No, come on. It's got to smell. No, it doesn't. And I've point. got I've got a bit of, I've got, a, like, an irritated bit of skin there. I still don't have a smelly belly, belly mm. button. Maybe mm. it's just that my jizz is always fresh. You got to have Yeah, a, yeah. Maybe that's it. You got to have a deep belly button. I got a... I, you got one? Oh, Jesus. That's a monster. Do a sit-up. Yeah. Jimmy yeah. Says, <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. That's very nice. Yeah, do a, do a sit-up. Uh, at least we can tell we're comfortable with each other. <laughs> <laughs> we, cross that, we finally crossed that boundary. Yeah, I'm, I'm a bit overweight, yes. Yeah. 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 How did it You're happen? A, a, a drunk who, who lives in hotel rooms? Why, <laughs> well, why would I be overweight? I'm just eating a bagel that's got a sausage. A sausage. Sausage. I don't I like this flat like sausage. like that sausage? No. I, don't, well, I don't understand the flat so, the, 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 the sausage. It should be long. Sausage. The flat, uh, yeah. American thing. Yeah, you, ever hear well. the, you ever hear the Jimmy Dean sausage? No, yeah, I was call? doing that. That oh, was my yeah. old favorite things yeah. ever. Jeffries is going to be at Caroline's. I know you, you're blowing up because look what they just gave Jim Jeffries. It One used to be on. a day, a couple, a couple spots. Yeah. He's going to be at Caroline's tonight through Sunday. Holy Sunday shit. shows. Nice. That means this man is blowing up. Nice. So get your tickets to see Jim uh, Jeffries at Caroline's all weekend long starting tonight. 212-757-4100. Uh, Caroline's is great, too. Yeah, a fucking great and the gang. Club, man. They take care of us yep. big time. Big Very time. Mm. And so does Vinny when we get down in the stress factory, but he's yeah. far away. What's the stress factory? Is that a comedy club or just a place? Yeah. Look, yeah. we're supposed to be promoting Caroline's, but let me tell you something. Mm. Get your ass to the stress factory down the road. You'll do very well there. I just It's I about can, uh, 40, minutes, 40 minutes outside the city. Oh, okay. That's cool. But it's an easy ride. It's a mm. nice little town, you know. And Vinny takes you out for a little dessert and stuff after your set. Lovely. Yeah, he's very needy. <laughs> <laughs> he really is. He really is. Who's, who's Vinny? He owns the place. Oh, he owns the yeah, place. Owns not the like journey. another comic or something. No, he's a comic. Oh, he thinks he is, place. yeah. And so where's all the other comedians there? It's very quiet. Yeah, uh, well, Jimmy's away. And then uh, we Is he doing that couple of you're dicks You're the movie? guy. Uh, no, he, it, he finished that one up. I auditioned for that part. Did you? Yeah, did you they, they got, for the yeah. Norton part? Yeah, for the Norton part, yeah. Oh, shit. I did all right yeah. as well in the audition, but uh, and then when I did the callback, I just I just couldn't fucking nail the American accent. Ah. Some days I have it, and then some days I'm just like, it was like a part of a criminal in the back of this taxi, and I was like, hey, I'm a criminal. Oh, what are you going to do? It's like when you do You're Australian and you yeah, sound yeah, like, yeah. you know. For like digits. three words and then, it, <laughs> and falls then you apart. lose it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I actually walked out of the audition going, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm really? sorry for wasting your time. <laughs> oh. And it wasn't like they even were nice to me and sort of went, oh, that, you didn't do that bad. They it was were like, just, yeah, we it don't accept just, your apology. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like when you vomit at a party in front of everybody <laughs> and they're just like, oh, it's best if you leave. I'm best sorry. Best if you leave. Yeah. It's all right. Come back now some other time. <laughs> just, we'll yeah. still like it, but not today. Just get out of here. Yeah. I'll, I'll call you. So uh, they gave uh, it to Norton. People are asking about the hair plugs because last time you were on the show, and They're we not had plugs, and we asked this too because you walked in with a hat mm. on, and we're like, I, yeah. I remember that look when Ants started, yeah. yeah, covering up some stuff, yeah. And you said, no, you're not uh, doing the uh, the hair follicle thing. I'm on, I'm on Propecia. 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 Does that shit work? Propecia is all right. It's just a tablet you take each day that uh, it, 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 they say it regrows hair, but it really just keeps what you got. Keeps it from uh, coming out. And I haven't got any extra hair, but the hair that I have got is now slightly stronger. Because that's when you when you start going bald, you notice it gets like an inch and then it starts to go wispy and all that, all that shit. And then when you see things on TV where they'll be like queer eye for the straight guy and there'll be like someone going, you know your hair looks best if you don't wash it every day. No, your fucking hair looks best, mate. <laughs> My hair turns into greasy shit. It needs to be washed every day. Don't you tell yeah. me about my yeah. fine, wispy strands. <laughs> and I have to wash my hair twice a day to make it look thick. 
Yeah, yeah. I, if I, I go one day, I'm like, just I, clumps I, I together. look like a fucking yeah. chemo patient. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. For real. Well, this is this is the whole thing about Propecia, right? This is how they... The, the no conditioner, the, it, it shrinks the prostate, which is, yeah. the, is the gland in your asshole, which is the, the, <laughs> G, the male G-spot. I love it how anything that feels good, we have to steal it off the women. It's the male G-spot. <laughs> yeah, is it G. really? I think it actually does, it has a purpose, doesn't it? it it's just not meant to feel... semen. It makes the clear stuff... That then uh, the the sperm swim in. Yes, and it's also and it, good it if you rub a together. cock against it. Evidently, apparently, uh, but I don't think that's its main like purpose. It. Yeah, uh, and and so it shrinks the prostate, and uh, you know, but you get to keep your hair. So on the downside, you don't enjoy anal sex, but you get to keep your hair, <laughs> right? And like, like, why do you want to keep your hair so you get more anal sex, right? So well, people, you would people, think. Are, people are in India. Yeah, but now and you don't have a good G spot. So I don't know. I'm like, fuck. What do I do? Do I? <laughs> and how they figure this out? Well, what they it was did, a pill for prostate it was, cancer. It was a pill for prostate cancer, and what they did was people used to take it, and then all, they were also having chemo. And there was all like these just these guys with afros that were like, yeah, I'm a cancer patient. <laughs> Giant heads of hair. Yeah, the doctors were like, hey, we got something here. Big we... swooping heads of hair. Yeah. As they're getting chemo. It's what lowered are... my libido as well. It has. Yeah, I just... They say that's a side effect uh, with some people. It'll lower your libido. You won't be as horny and shit like that. I don't, you know, maybe it's just... I, yeah, I, I'm kind of happy because my libido is getting out of control for the same reason I smoke cigarettes, right? My erections were getting too large. I, I look at those packs and just go, just go. We got to ruin this somehow. We got, we got to deplete this. No, because I'm masturbate. I, this is the thing: is you speak to most comics, I think they masturbate pro, at least four times a day. Nothing else to really do. I nothing guess. to do. You're in a hotel. You're in a different town. You don't have any friends there. It passes the time. And then once you get into your fourth wank, you start thinking to yourself, <laughs> have I got five in me? And then the five one's like a challenge to yourself. And you're just shooting out that watery, like nothing jizz. It's just raw at that point, too. Yeah. I mean, yeah. That's downright depressing that what eventually comes out. Like, holy shit. It, yeah, and it's, but it's also, what the fuck? it's also the lengths you have to go to, like how progressively bad the porn gets. Like yeah. it starts off with just something very mild. In the end, you're really looking at rape. <laughs> <laughs> like, like you, 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 you ever watch porn where you're just sitting there going, "I'm not a hundred percent sure this is legal." Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're looking, go. Ah, We've yeah. all been there. Yeah. Like you know, you know what is illegal. You know the shit yeah. you can't even go near. Yeah. But then there's stuff that where you go, "What the fuck is this?" Where, like, they, where they simulate incest. You know when they do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, but it's still a, it's still like a nineteen-year-old girl. Yeah, yeah. And she starts using the word dad and all that type of stuff, mm -hmm. and, and then you start going, "Is that illegal? Is this legal?" Because I think it's illegal in general society or mm -hmm. animal stuff. Is animal like, stuff is another one. There's so much animal porn on the web, and you're like. Uh, there's a girl blowing a dog. That can't be legal. The fuck is that? And that is, dog's got is a that big cock. I would guess that's illegal. Is it? If I don't know, though. if I, I get my computer the cleaned, act is is illegal. But I don't think watching videos of it is. People, but I don't know. people have whole sites that are dedicated to bestiality. Yeah. If you, it, 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 Doug, uh, Doug Stanhope made that point about child pornography being. I've never even stumbled across it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was, he was saying that, right. <laughs> you know what I mean? I've never even stumbled across it. So there we go. Just one click. We've got a dog fucking a woman. Oh, and there's another. And also, th this is Google, by the way. I'm yeah, on this Google. This is Google. This isn't and, even like. And here's the argument, right? If the dog's fucking the woman, is it a bad act? If the dog comes. Right. It, well, dog, who, who's getting hurt The here? dog never looks like he's having a bad time. Yeah, who, you know, it's like yeah. also these people who fuck horses, right? There's a, a woman, horse will, uh, a horse will fucking kick shot. you. Right there. Uh, look at this fucking picture. Get oh, the fuck out of here. Yeah, I've Jesus seen, I've actually, I've seen a couple, when they do, their mouth just fills with cum yeah, when yeah, they suck they a horse like, off. Bleh, yeah, and yeah. And it just comes it's, shooting out. It just, just, there's a lot of it. Yep. You never watched that, Opie? No, no. You watched some pony. You married men. Pony fucking... Pony sucking uh, videos. I've never oh, seen no a chick I've never, blow a horse where I've never wanked off to it. Fills up. No, it I'm, I'm still uh, proud of that. It doesn't do anything for me in that sense, but it's mm. one of those things that you got to kind of look and go, "Wow, that's fucked up." Mm. Yeah. Hey, I got something there's to play. Fucked up porn, and then there's jerking off porn. Yeah. yeah. Jerking yeah, but, off. But sometimes when that crosses over, you got to fucking reassess your values and go back because yeah. yeah. you can get stuck that, stuck in fucked up land. You've heard of, you, you, yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, right? yeah. You've heard our chicken audio, right? 
No. What's oh, the speaking of animals. What's this? German, German guy. <laughs> the music's great, by the way. Mother's birth? Du Hühnerficker. Ja, irre. Ich bin ganz wild auf diese Henne. Goes. You can tell when the chicken gets it. Yeah. Ah, no, that's good. It's not real, is it? It's not real, is it? Oh, yeah, it's real. <laughs> oh, no, no. That's good. Good. It's chicken. What else are we... What else are we going to do to the chicken? Crazy fucking crowd. Mm. No wonder they didn't win the war. Yeah, they're fucking chickens. Yep. Look at what they did. They went from fucking blitzkrieg and they were way across Europe to fucking a chicken. Look at, see there? There you go. That's uh, the guy fucking a chicken. Uh, it so takes this help. Is, this is the thing. When they bring <laughs> a chicken to help, I can't get some girls <laughs> to take a load on the face, but this guy can get a girl to hold a chicken. While he fucks it, yeah. Yeah, exactly. I just, Amazing. That's... And it's she, either love or something yeah. higher she, than that. And she's a trooper. She has all her clothes off. Yeah, she's yeah, naked, yeah. too, just in case he needs a little help. Yeah. A that's little what, visual. That's what yeah. I always feel. It's, it's, like, it's that whole thing, like even with serial killers, right? Whenever you hear, like, like, like couples like the West <laughs> or something, where they go off, like, couples go and serial kill together. Oh, yeah, together. How do you... When does that come up in any relationship? <laughs> when, when, do you, when do you sit there and, and you... Like, you must do it as a joke the first time. You yeah, must yeah, go. You, just you go. know, I like peanut butter, too. You know what else I like? <laughs> yeah. Killing people and raving dead bodies. And then just wait to see if they laugh or if they just sort of give a knowing look. Yeah, and then you kind of like... Yeah, you, you slowly get into it. You joke about it a little more. <laughs> yeah. And then, you know, you're driving down the road, you look at someone and go, eh, can we, we could, you know, we, we could kill pick them one. up and kill them. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say hi to Rob on Long Island. Rob. Yeah, we love the Jim Jeffries. I just wanted to answer that topic on whether or not it's legal to blow a dog. According to my sister's cock spaniel, it's okay in New York. <laughs> <laughs> but not, not in Jersey? Uh, no, no, not in Jersey. <laughs> Different Danny. Uh, this guy's begging us to try out a website. I'm going to write it down. I'm not going to make the same mistake I did with that last site. Yeah, last we usually say it on the air. It? We just go, yeah, go to this website, and then everyone goes to it, and it fucking crashes. Mm -hmm. So now, fuck you, listeners. We're waiting. We'll tell you later. <laughs> Maybe. If we look and see... Oh, well, Jesus. Oh, oh, well, we're looking at... Oh, and I hear there's boy. a free preview. Oh, boy. Where are the Head free blast. previews? Where's the free preview? Where's the free preview Oh, sorry. Section? I didn't... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, no, that's right. I didn't, I didn't hear it. Yeah, it's, it's uh, right. oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I can get you a... I know a, a link to a good blowjob of a horse. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's somewhere in Mexico, and and it's it's not oh. nice. And there's a whole lot of guys staying around watching this girl, but she takes it inside, and then just it's not pleasant. Click on one of those uh, down at the bottom there. It's yeah, pay, it's pay stuff. It's pay stuff. Yeah, oh, that's maybe it's blow. preview though. That'll blow up our computer. No video preview. Oh, video preview. Oh, God, this shit. No, down on the bottom it says video preview. Click on one of those. Video preview. Jesus. Video lying, preview. lying sacks of shit. Oh, I mean, if that's what you want to see, I can get you there. Well, well I, you know. Yeah, that's <laughs> a little... I was just seeing if the site I, worked. I, I, yeah. like, I like I how it's like, if logistics. that's what you want to see. No one wants to see it, really. No. It's more a strange no. curiosity. No. It's, it's one of these things that I just... I would hate for, like, a girl to walk in and I'm watching it. Like, you know, I, I, I've been caught masturbating several times in my life by maids in hotel rooms mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Oh, you're that, that guy? I, I once had my earphones on. There was a on. video online of a guy just, like, over and over again having the maid walk in as he's... Oh, no, we, I didn't. We had the video on the show. I didn't do yeah. it on purpose. You're that guy, aren't you? I, 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 once, I once was in this small you hotel in Cornwall. You hear the knocking, and you're like, and I, No, eh, I, I had my earphones on. This is back in the day of Discman's, right? Yeah, and Discman's. I'm, and I'm listening to my Discman. I'm listening to John Lennon's solo career, right? So it could have been, like, woman, maybe I was listening to, yeah. watching the wheels. And I, I was masturbating. I just sort of halfway through decided to have a wake. This lady walks in with towels. This sounds like a sketch, but this actually happened. This lady walks in with towels. She screams. I sort of rip the earphones off, 
and she's on the other side of the door going, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. I was just trying to bring up some towels. Oh, I, and I, and I, I need them. That's what I said. Oh, you do? I said you yeah, should yeah. stay, I'm going to need one in just a second. Just in a nick of time, lady. But it's one of those little tiny hotels in like Cornwall in England, like this little village, right? And it was like, that was the same lady that I had to go and check out with oh, afterwards. Oh, you yes. filthy animal. Yeah, so yeah, I went down with my, you know, when you, I've always had a theory uh, on hotels, the, the bigger the key, the shit of the hotel. Like yeah. if you get a key key ring that's like a stick that you have to ha- that's a shit hotel. But uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was one of those ones where I had to go back down and just face <laughs> yeah. her again. My mother once caught me masturbating when I was young, and um, she just stood at the end of the bed while I laid there naked. I flipped over onto my stomach with like my big sweaty ass sitting up, <laughs> and she just sat stood there. And she actually came in. It was the middle of the day. It was like forty <laughs> degrees. It was like one hundred and ten Fahrenheit, right? And I was I was prepping. I wasn't even in full wank, right? I was just prepping. <laughs> yeah. I had a, I had some porn out like that. And I did that. She walked Holy into my room. And I did that one motion magazine on the side of the bed. Just. Whoosh, Right? Yeah. Middle of the afternoon, blistering sun. I'm laying under my duvet, just hello, mum. Hello. She oh. goes, clean your fucking room, and I went, I'll be right on to that. <laughs> and then she was like, she, I normally give a smart ass answer, so she's like, why are you under the duvet? It's so bloody hot. I went. I'm having a nap. You haven't had a nap in 10 years. Oh, shit. And she then was she, on to you. She starts pulling on the duvet, what right? What the fuck? And so I'm like, please, mom, please, oh, God. <laughs> and so I've got this... I got this 300 pound woman who's got leverage pulling back, and I'm just sort of holding with my claws <laughs> up near my chest. And I've got, I've got, I've got one chance here. Did you right? lose your rod? No, I, I was actually strengthening in some ironic way, and I, I, I let go of the duvet. Just like that, when you have, you know, when you're having a tug of war, and the only joy you have left in that battle when you're at a picnic <laughs> is let letting go. go and watching yeah. the other cunts right. fall over, yeah. right? So I let go. She smashes into the wardrobe, but in one motion, I flip onto my stomach, right? So I'm just laying there on an empty mattress with my ass in the air, covered in fucking sweat. <laughs> and I'm crying. <laughs> I'm about 12 or 30. I'm bawling, <laughs> I'm bawling my eyes out. This big fat woman standing out of my bed goes, you disgust me. <laughs> now, oh, you'd think shit. that's where it would end, wouldn't you? It's bad boy yeah, yeah. Bobby. You're she bad went, boy Bobby. She went and told my eldest brother. She didn't Why tell would she do that? Because she thought that masturbation... In my house, you could say fucking cunt, right? Yeah. If you called your brother a jerk, she'd go, that's disgusting, touching yourself in that way. Right? She had a real thing about masturbating. It was creepy. <laughs> right? And so my brother comes in, and I was still that age. It wasn't like today where kids just talk about masturbating in yeah, front of like, each other. Fuck you, yeah, I, we, were, we were all there going, oh, no, I don't do it. You're a fucking wanker. I'm not a wanker, you dickhead. <laughs> right? And so my brother came in, and he basically just told me that he'd never done it and that I should be ashamed. And uh, he goes, hopefully granddad won't find out and we won't have to move. <laughs> right? So I felt horrible for years. And then years years and years later, so we're all together at Christmas. I'm about 20 years old by this stage. And, uh, and my brother, we're all ragging on each other at the table and my brother goes, hey, remember when mum caught Jim wanking and then she came and told me and then dad and my brother high five. We go, we had him thinking for years he was the oh, only one. Oh, shit. Oh, the, the shame that went along with it. Uh, and they just, you know, thought of it as a little joke. Yeah, yeah. They and thought, meanwhile, you lived with it. I lived with guilt for years. and paranoia. And, oh, oh, you poor when, little bastard. When I was very young, <laughs> when I was about 10... I used to go through underwear catalogs trying to find something to wank off to. Oh, yeah, we all did that. Right. I did it. Oh, geez, yeah, but your mother fun. wasn't 300 pounds. <laughs> See, is this the guy? Yeah. yeah this, this, there's, a, guy. there's a compilation of these. Uh, this is just one of them. i got to find the other ones. See, but, yeah, uh, very suspicious, Jim, because a lot of, a lot of people will like, let, the, let the maid come in as they're jerking off because that's the uh, excitement there. So here you got a guy jerking off, and there's the door opening on there. <laughs> she just <laughs> freaks out at least. She just peeked in and yeah. walked right the fuck out. So I, I was going to this underwear catalog, and I was in one of my mum's mother's, you know, women's magazines, which is wasn't a pornography, ma- just like a people magazine, right? Yeah. And there was one picture out of nowhere of this naked oh. tit. Wow. And I was like, fucking killer. Pay dirt. Right? So I cut it out, wanked off to it for about a year <laughs> until I saw a documentary on a woman having a mammogram. And I had, <laughs> the, the other tit was in a machine. It ruined it for you. <laughs> I was like, oh, no, cancer breast. It ruined it for you. Yeah. <laughs> 
shit. Jesus. Yeah, I used to uh, find the uh, old Cosmo, Cosmopolitan magazine. Like my mother used like, with with the, yeah, yeah, with the breast cream ads. She had Cosmo. And Remember the breast looked, cream ads in the back? Jesus. Oh my god! All right, we found this, the oh, we found the real god, site damn. with the uh, right. free preview. Here we go. Oh, that is Let's go free preview on this one there. Highest quality video. That's disgusting because it's two male oh, animals. Geez. God only knows what's being loaded on the oh, computer. God. <laughs> Loading. <laughs> you really virus. need a Mac for this situation. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> We're not going to be able to do anything else on our computers today I think or it's tomorrow. Gonna be, all right, here it is. What oh, the wow. fuck? Oh, no. Oh, Christ. I mean, oh, no. Oh, the poor dog. I want to see the dog's face if he's happy This is my not. thing. The dog is happy. The dog would kick back, man. Yeah. It's a guy doing it. Oh, the dog's dog. turn around looking at the, him like, yeah, what the, are you doing to me? What are you doing it's to the, me? It's the dog's just pet. It, he, yeah, is a, a gentleman. Is it a female dog or is he doing it up the ass? I think it was. It's, it's, I, yeah, in, it's, I, in, the, it's in the cut. In. It's a, it's I don't a, know. It's a female dog. It, I, I have no idea. Nothing Nothing weird. What he's doing to this. Uh, yeah, that would be really sick if it was in the Jesus. ass. <laughs> see, I enjoy more when you see the dog fucking the woman because at least you know that it's the dog's idea. Yeah, the dog sniffed, had some fun. Look at this poor dog. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's turning around looking at the guy like, like are what you the done? Fuck? What are you doing? Yeah. You realize you're fucking me. I could have yeah. had any home. I had to had to be brought into yours. Oh <laughs> god! And, and the dog walks away in shame. Like, what? Now shame. Just the dog was walking up. sideways. Oh, and the thing is also that dog goes. And oh. you really want me to stop criminals? Yeah, people, yeah. People what, can do anything to me. I'm not going to fight back. Break in. Yeah, somebody breaks in. That dog's just going to go. Jesus. Yeah, he's over, he's right over there. Yeah. Oh, assume the position. Just... I like that. He's got him laying down on his back. Yeah, that's. And a then big there's point. a cum shot. Ew, no, he's not eating the fucking dog. You know what? Holy you know what shit, I like about that? The dog. He's actually doing that dog human style. Oh, God. yeah, I know. That was weird. The dog laying on the back. Oh, oh Christ! Oh, Give me a break. Oh, oh, it's just that dog's cocks look so horrible. <laughs> <laughs> that's the problem you got. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because the guy was filleting the, uh, the uh, canine. Like, like the vaginas are look, terrible. They look all chewed up. Oh, yeah. They... Yeah, yeah, it looks like after we were, a real we jerk of... bender. <laughs> it looks like after you've been jerking for a week. The parents went away for the weekend and <laughs> left you home alone for the first time ever. Yeah. It, You're just it, jerking all over the house. But it's also your cock would be red raw if the only That's way you I can mean, masturbate yeah. is against the carpet. <laughs> yeah. If you haven't got any dexter's like fingers or anything and it's just rubbing up against shit... It's going to be fairly teared. Yeah, it's going to be yesterday, a, little, a little tender. Yesterday we were talking about uh, self-pleasuring yourself. Yes. And, uh, yeah, and, yeah, a little um, self-pleasuring. I want to play this uh, piece of production. And oh. this, will add to a, this will lead to another discussion with oh, Jim okay. Jeffries, who's going to be at Caroline's all weekend long. Have you ever needed to get your rocks off but lacked the means to do so? Yeah, that's it. That's, yeah. Manual masturbation is old school. <laughs> How'd you like to learn to go down on yourself? <laughs> we think that with practice and stretching, most guys should be able to at least make some mouth-to-cock contact. The Anthony Cumia Guide to Oral Self-Pleasure will have you gobbling your knob in no time. You're on your bed on your back. You flip your, your legs over your head and you use the wall now to walk. Walk down. You're actually walking down the wall to try to walk the dick into your mouth. Almost there! Anthony Cumia's step-by-step instructions will teach you how to cradle the balls, work the shaft, and swallow the gravy like a champ. <laughs> is there a money shot? There better be, or this is a total waste of time. We've seen guys swallow them right to the balls. Begin reel two. Anthony Cumia's guide to self-oral pleasure isn't gay because you're doing it to yourself. If you can't get your mouth over your cock the first time, I, I, um, I, I, oh, don't be disappointed. At least that's what you can tell yourself while you're twisted up like a pretzel and your balls are bouncing off your nose. Yeah, and then more tips. Stretch before your session. The last thing you want to do is crack your spine mid-fellatio. Oh. Lose all bowel control and crap all over your face. My eyes! It's more comfortable, and your stomach contents won't get in the way when you double over. The Anthony Akumia Guide to Oral Self-Pleasure can be yours for the low, low price of nine ninety five. Self-sucking doesn't come naturally to everyone. So take it slow, work with what you've got, and try to have fun. And try to have fun. <laughs> Jesus Christ. There you go. I knew reading that would bite me in the ass. <laughs> ah, that's pretty good.
Didn't, didn't you get that script and go, I think they're playing a trick on me? No, no, I was, uh, I was reading off a website on um, how to self-filate yourself. Yeah, self-filate. Oh. And, um, yeah, I was reading that yesterday, and, of course, they took it, as they usually do, out of context and um, that never made happens. it like I was saying it. So That's I was crazy. just reading this. You, you walk, walk down the wall. Yeah, you walk down yeah, the wall. Yeah, see, there's, there's a, a method. Going, see, the see? guy's sitting. It's a whole website. And then there's the walk down the wall. And then <laughs> there's the sitting and, uh, yeah, yeah. The holding the back of the legs. And then there's that one, which is, I don't even know how the fuck Jim, he does wh that. which way would you try? Well, as you, three, as you said, said earlier, three... I, need, I need to do some sit-ups. So uh, <laughs> I, I'd, yeah, I'd, my gut would get in the way, but uh, I'd probably do the walk down the wall. Walk down the I wall. Think. Because, you know, there's some bed, there's some comfort. I, I don't have to get up in the morning. Does that yeah. helps with depression? And you're using gravity to help you. The yeah. weight of uh, your lower part of your body is now just driving that cock right also, into your Also, then mouth. I can imagine I'm just having 69 with another man, which makes it, you know. <laughs> a little easier I'm, to suck If I'm just bending over, it doesn't feel like it's been forced upon me. <laughs> <laughs> which one would break uh, your neck? Shit. I, th I think... Which one? No, I don't think any of them break your neck as such. Uh, I don't know. I think uh, the third one. The third one looks really bad for. That looks like that could be a. Problem. No, that looks like that, breaking your your that, spine. Your lower spine. I yeah, think your the third walk up vertebrae the wall is bad for your neck. That can that break could be your a fucking neck. Let's be honest. It's all bad for you. Because you know something it doesn't look, matter how you look do at, it. Look at the the illustration shows the gentleman bent right below the rib cage is where his uh, uh, body is now bending so his dick can go into his mouth. But we all know that the neck takes the brunt of the bend. Uh, do, don't we all know? Yes. No? yes. It's just yes. me? Yes. Yes. Just yes. me that gave, yes. It, yes. A, gave yes. it a whirl in ever, my more limber years? Ron Jeremy do it. He doesn't bend very much at all in, the, in that famous footage of him doing it. Yeah. That's how he got famous, wasn't it? That was He was the guy who used to his own dick. suck his own dick. Yeah. But he's really just... just just that yeah, much. He's just kind of getting a little in the. Uh... And he can't do it now because he's too fat. Isn't he? Oh yeah. He'd be Let's a mess. say hi to Bob in Connecticut. Bolt. Isn't that funny that Hello, Bob, Bob is Bob calling? Boy. Yeah. Bolt. <laughs> <laughs> he's talking over all the laughter. So I, I Bob. Start, start again, Bob. Uh, sorry we didn't, about that. We didn't hear you. Go ahead. Didn't mean to interrupt your show. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> Want to know if the dogs in the video were begging to be adopted by Michael Vick? Yeah. No shit. Who's Michael Vick? Six you don't, you don't know enough. who Michael Vick is? No. Oh, it's the it's that American football. That we oh, he's the he, he's the guy who the dog the fighting guy. Right, and he's back. Yeah, yeah. I think he's back in after three games. I think that's it. Playing with the Eagles, sits out three more games. I, and, uh, he's he's you know. playing football again. Was it just that he had a whole heap of dogs fighting each other? I don't I don't know. It was a long involved story, Jim Jeffries. Yeah, but he did his time. Yeah, so mm. the man, mm. you know, he paid the time for his crime or whatever the people say. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I'm trying to get jiggy. We're going to take a break. <laughs> we got guess the sound as we go into break, though, I see, Danny. Yeah, it's not exactly such a hard one, but uh, <laughs> we all thought it was funny enough that uh, we should bring it to the All right, guys. let's check this out. We'll, uh, it's more like guess, guess who's sound, I guess. Guess who sound? Guess who? Well, we're we playing guess who, but of sounds. <laughs> I love guess who. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I know that's someone having a shit. <laughs> that's, that's a shit plug uh, coming out. Is that so, is that somebody we know? Um yeah, I mean, yeah, it's someone that we maybe not Jim knows, but it's someone that we all know. Sure. I uh, wow. Normally Why well, well, I would not know him. I'm a nice guy. Well, I'm pretty <laughs> affable. Yeah. I, I would guess it's you, Danny. <laughs> it is not me. It's Norton? I would normally think Jim Norton. It is not Jim Norton. Yeah. Is it, um... Is it George from Otto and George? No. Mm. It's one of the guys. Yeah. That works on the show. D-Boy? D-Boy! It is D-Boy. It's D-Boy. <laughs> D-Boy. <laughs> Fucking Derek. He likes to tape his own shit sounds. Hey, can that we was, hear that again? That was a good one. <laughs> yeah, can we hear that again? Sounds like a cue ball. <laughs> Coming loose. You can hear the plugs. 
<laughs> you can, you can, just from that sound, you know the exact length and size of the oh, ship. Yeah, yeah. You can picture it. No, yeah, it's it's that was a round. Boom. One. Yeah, that must that be like round, how hard one. That's like how blind people see things through hearing. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly the same way. You can listen to that and know exactly what it looks. It like. It wasn't long. It wasn't a floater. Yeah. It ha we had a little <laughs> bit of. There we go. It sounds like yep. the sound effect when you, when the, the guy at the saloon spits his chew into the yeah <laughs> into, <laughs> into the, the spittoon. The spittoon. <laughs> Derek also said that uh, oh. the voice notes function of his iPhone is his, is his, his favorite thing because he can record the sounds of his own dumps. <laughs> That's what he used, the iPhone? Yep. Yeah, that that was voice nice. notes. <laughs> picks up pretty nicely. He emails it to me with uh, the file name is Memo. <laughs> that, that, should, that should be the ad for the iPhone. <laughs> One more time here. <laughs> Jesus. Apple he, iPhone. He, st <laughs> he stops me in the hallway before. He goes, He goes. you can hear my asshole opening up. <laughs> <laughs> He's all excited. <laughs> like, like deep do, you, do you ever do a shit, right, and you know it's really long, like it's a long shit, and you assume it's still dangling off your ass, so you sort of squat up slightly and see if you can see it dangling. If you can, <laughs> if you can see it dangling, I've been there. Yeah, God. if you can actually still see it dangling and attached, that's really long because there's there's oh. like levels. It's I've been there. Yeah, and you know, I, oh. like, you want to clip it loose or or clean yeah, up. Yeah, but I'm, a I'm like nightmare. I'm like interested. I'm like that's like fucking a foot hanging out my ass because mm -hmm. the, the American toilets. You, oh, <laughs> you got to give credit to the Americans on this one, man. You guys in your high water levels, sometimes I don't even hear a kaplunk. It just sort of drifts it straight just drifts in. in. Like oh, really? You guys got low like water levels? Everywhere, the everywhere else in the world has this low water level where you actually hear a splash. Really? Right? We and don't like splash back. I love that. I, and also, everyone else sort of like pushes the water above it and out through the cistern, right? Out through the S bend. Yeah. Where you guys just sort of suck it away. Best toilets in the world. Yeah. If, if you go to a hotel uh, any, anywhere in Britain and you, you like <laughs> smoke all day and you got like a cup full of cigarette buds and you want to act like you haven't been smoking, and so you throw it down the toilet, it, they won't flush in it in Europe. They'll just sort of – you actually have to get your hand and sort of shove it under the S-Bend to <laughs> do it. Holy shit, right? really? Or you got to roll them in paper and make the toilet think that it's – like you got, you got to confuse the toilet. That, <laughs> you got to fake the toilet out. Yeah, yeah you got to go, oh, no, there's no cigarette buds <laughs> in there. Nothing that shit. floats. That's just toilet paper. You can flush that. Oh, my God. Where in America, they'll just take it away, man, kill a few dolphins or wherever it goes. I don't know where it goes. Oh, my God. But I, I'm a big fan of the American toilets. <laughs> big fan. Love it. Have you ever been to the ones in Germany where they got the shelf? No, what's that? Oh, Google the German shelf toilets. They've got this shelf that it's got a little thin puddle of water where you shit on top, right? Yeah. No, no, not like that, not like that. Go German toilet. Oh, I'm just showing you what American toilet. Oh, right. <laughs> oh my God. Like, that's oh, like I've seen this one. The Ten golf balls. Nineteen, 19 golf balls. Nineteen golf balls. Yeah, just suck right down the fucking toity. Well, yeah. the, the Germans right. are such disgusting bastards that they have this. They have this <laughs> shelf because they're really interested in looking in their poos. It's sort of like a, a like you look through your shit, uh -huh. and then it flushes it off the shelf and down the ledge. Oh, Get the fuck out of here. Oh, yeah, wow. there it is, there wait, it is, there wait, it is, yeah. Oh, wait. so, okay, right, here right. it is. I don't here care. It is. So the toilet oh, get the fuck actually out of has a, a shelf. A landing area. So what you're doing is shitting on just dry fucking toilet yeah, and, ledge. Yeah, and they'll flush it off the ledge into that little hole, but your asshole isn't over that hole. It's no, over no, the shelf. It's, it's over, like, porcelain. That's, that's, uh, that's, it's like a, a just a piece of porcelain. With less than an inch of water. That's got to leave a lot of smears in the toilet. What no, the fuck is that thing? The, um, what's that, the thing that pops that, out? That thing pops out, and it will spray around the bowl and everything to make sure it's clean. Oh, get rid of the Whoa, smears? The toilet's yeah, doing that's something a weird. Dump. Toilet. But they're they're all through Germany. That's a dumb one. But, it's like but the answer. thing is, it's when in Rome, I'm there fucking poking through my shit with like a stick, just because oh. uh, you've never seen your shit up so high and not in covered in water. I'm yeah. like, I'm like, yeah, this is exciting for me. Is there anything worse than a shit that pops out of the water, though? Oh yeah. my, that is our human feces is, smells hor horrific. So, so the German, t the Germans gotta be smelling their own shit all day the long. Germans, yeah, 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 the terrible. Germans are obsessed with shit. They love shit. They're, 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 whenever they make jokes about scat porn, it's always yeah. the Germans, you know, and they the Japanese. Love shit. I don't get the scat porn either. No, I don't get that. That I don't fucking guess. No, that no, is, I, 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 a few times that. in my life I've had anal sex with a girl where afterwards a bit of poo's gone kapunk. Out afterwards. Oh, shit. I once, I once, I had this girlfriend I used to watch a lot of porn with. You know what, like, ATM, ass to mouth? 
right? You yeah. like watching yeah, that yeah. in porn. There's something sexy about that, right? <laughs> right? But right. you know, like, the girls in porn, they've had their assholes like, flushed out. Like, people have just been in there just, like, cleaning all day, right? <laughs> yeah. Right? And they haven't eaten anything before a scene, so they can take the... I had this girlfriend who got really into watching porn, and she wanted to do everything that porn stars did. And she pulled oh. my cock out of her ass, and I knew, I knew in that second, I hadn't even had to touch it, there was a little bit of shit on my cock. Oh, and she, God she, she put it. She put it into her mouth. And you know that scene when Stewie starts sucking off Peter's nipple? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he just, she just does, does that look of... <sighs> <laughs> Yeah, there you oh, go. Oh, 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 fucking Danny. Danny will find anything. Fuck. Oh, wow. Oh, shit on my dick. It's not Here the right audio. Shit on my penis. Oh. Yeah, it, it's... It, it, I do low for the radio show. Wonderful. <laughs> oh. Sorry, is that me? Sorry. No, it's all, it's all good, trust me. <laughs> all right, why don't we take uh, a break? Tim Jeffries is going to be at Caroline's tonight through Sunday. Tickets going to sell well, I believe, for this. I, th- I think I think yes. it'll sell better than last time, but you, you never know. You're lucky in a big city. Two one two seven five seven forty one hundred, and the DVD for I swear to God will be out October nineteenth. That got o- very good reviews, Jim. October nineteenth, yeah, thirteenth. Uh, I don't know. It's coming out. Oh, yeah, w- uh, that's it. Wait, wait, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Hang on. Wait for it. There it goes. Yeah, that's no a little bit of, oh, a little bit of jizz coming God. out of the nose. That's all right. That's all right. Damn it. How much did she just hate her? Yeah, yeah, that's that's. God damn but that's it. what happens in reality. In porn, that doesn't happen. That's what happens in reality. She really hated daddy. Oh, butterscotch. Butterscotch. <laughs> butterfucking scotch. But it is. It works like a plunger. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like yeah, in the in the in the in few it. times when I was younger, when I put a couple of things up my ass for masturbate, I fucking. <laughs> Those days are over. Tub girl. Tub girl. Oh, Tub girl. That's so sick. Oh, that is one of the greatest still motion the, photogra- the, photographs. The Tub Girl just... birthday cake ruled. There used to be this guy in Sydney. I don't know if there, there'd be pictures of him. He was called the Trough Junkie. Like we call the Trough, the urinal trough. Yeah. Right? And this guy was, uh, he used to go to uh, the Sleaze Ball, which was a, a big thing after the gay Mardi Gras. This guy would just be in a gimp mask. Just laying in the urinal trough. He's dead now, like from the whole alphabet of hepatitis. <laughs> right? and, and, and he used to he used to lay in this trough and just piss on me, piss on me with a real like wow. broad strength. And the thing is, you first go in there and you're like, I'm not going to piss on you, man. You I'm just going to. The and then in the end, you're like, ah, fuck it, I'll just piss on him. Oh. Well, as long as he doesn't touch me, then you're pissing on his tongue and oh. It, but he's laying in a trough where like thousands of people are urinating that day. It's a big outdoor party. Holy and, shit. And he's just sw- happy is Larry. Couldn't be happier. <laughs> happy is Larry? What does that say? Happy is Larry. Happy Larry is just okay. a saying. He's very happy. Larry, right. Larry was a guy who was, Larry, just, who, who was historically happy. Yeah. <laughs> happy is Larry. I need and, a shirt. And, and he just, just lay there just with glee. On his, yeah, oh. That is somebody who just loves degradation. Oh, fucking yeah. Cannot get right. degraded enough. Uh, quick break. Jim Jeffries, Caroline's all weekend long. 212-757-4100. I want to see if Travis is paying attention. What Will Travis play as we go to break here? Oh. The pressure is on. Oh. oh Travis. What do you got, Travis? Mm-hmm. Uh, I have ONA into spots number five. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, no. <laughs> nope. And the only oh, reason I bring no. this up, don't look at instant feedback. Everyone has what you should be playing going into break. Oh. oh the pitch is just. Want to try again? Don't, don't help him out. Well, I just went to the bathroom, so maybe I missed something. Oh, dude. You, yeah. m- wow. you oh, missed no. some of the best anal sex shit conversation yeah. you're going to hear. It's a song. Oh. Yep. All right. Ha- wait, please hold. Hang on. All right. Please hold. You guys never play songs. This is very exciting. This song yeah. rules. <laughs> this, yeah. this guy has passion. He's really into singing this p- particular song. Oh, wait. Uh-oh. What? Not what? that one. Oh wow, I'm confused now. I know there's two. I oh. think I think I know which one you want you want. Can I write it down? Uh all right, I'll write it down at the same time. Where's right. the pen? Is it is it a famous song? Uh okay, hold on. <laughs> give me give me the marker. It's not like A C D C I'm gonna write this down. Don't don't look. Jim, why don't you play two? Write down a song. I, I, okay, <laughs> it's it's got to be something about fucking something in the ass. Okay. So I got it. I got mine written down. Do we have a match? 
Yeah! We, we have, have a match. match! My... All right, I, I'm not going to read it out loud because it's going to go... That's a song parody. Yeah. That's a song parody. And it's a parody of which song? Travis? It's a pa Travis? It's a parody of which song? <laughs> which song, Travis? Oh, I don't know the original song. I have the song you want. You sure? Are you absolutely positive? Positive. Willing to bet your job on it? No. <laughs> <laughs> I have a baby. <laughs> I'm not betting my job on it. Well, we do know it's based on a real song, so I think we might have a match with Travis. All right. Too. Oh, okay. I know the name of the original song. But Danny's whispering it to you through the glass. No. What, through the, what, it's what, hard to wait, do wait, through wait, the wait, glass. Wait, wait, wait. What were right. so you going to play? Yeah, what were we going to play? Hit it for two seconds. Uh, uh, hang on. Here. Oh, he's panicking. <laughs> what were you going to play, you fucking... Yeah, I wouldn't not get, I wouldn't get used we to keeping about. that kid, man. You're not doing that good a job. I know, really. Yeah, well, like, seriously. <laughs> now, if, if I hit it, I would lose it. So hang on. Here's what I'm going to play. All right. <laughs> yeah, all right. Stop yeah. now. That's the one. <laughs> oh, okay. yeah, we built this city on rock and roll. So, yeah, I but, bet. What, I bet what, no, no, that's what I was going to play. But oh. if I hit it, I would have lost it in the I, thing that I have I right hear, now. All yeah. right, so we're going to play this as we go to break. Okay. More with Jim Jeffries. My legs are shitty. My legs are shitty from the yard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was Norton, but you can't tell that. It's a bit was catchy. It. Yeah. Jim Jefferies in studio. Caroline's all weekend long starting tonight through Sunday. 212-757-4100. Want to change gears slightly and ask uh, Jim Jefferies about health care because the guy has lived in three countries now, right? Ah, true. Yes. Um, I, I'm all for public health care. I think it's wonderful. No. I, I I think I think Australians I think Australians got it more down pat than the uh, the, the British do because the Australians just uh, they keep tabs on it a bit more. So they give you they give you a little card called like a Medicare card, um, and then you can go into the doctor's surgery and just show your card, and then the government has a little bit of a history of when you went to the doctor and how much you've taken out of the system and blah 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 blah. blah. And then you can't do it if you're a, a, a tourist or uh, on holidays or something like that. You got to get your private holiday healthcare cover. But in England. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fucking bonus, man. They just take anyone. Really? I, I got my head fractured in a comedy club. Someone came up and smashed my head into a table. <laughs> Actually, someone uh, wants to talk about that. How long ago was that? That was not when I got punched in the comedy club. This oh. is this is a separate incident. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, this one was never caught on film. Okay. But, uh, you know, you've seen the footage of me getting punched, haven't you? Yeah, Ryan yeah. in Kansas City wants to ask about oh, that yeah, as yeah. well. That was well, good, yeah, that was I, just, I got punched. You know, what, 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 happened, what happened with that? I'll, t I'll tell the story again if you want, but it's it's pretty. All, all that happened was I was doing a gig. It was going reasonably well. There was there was ten percent of the audience wished ill on my life, and this woman kept on going and going. I kept on putting it down, putting it down, putting it down. And then I, I my closing line on that, which is my line, but it sounds like it's an old line, was uh, I'm going to leave you alone now, like your dad did. Right? Which is a nice little comedy sure, jive. Yeah. Right? Nailed, nailed and, her and, anyone. Then, and then I said, uh, it's a shame your grandfather never did. That's why you seek so much attention in public. Oh. Right? Now, there was a guy on the other side of the room that had some issues with his father or grandfather. And he decided, I'm going to punch that cunt in the head. But he was an Irish lad, and he decided, oh, but I'll do it when I finish my beverage. So I was in the middle of my, my just cunt material, and he finished his drink, and then he sort of dusted his hands off, and he ran up and punched me. So there's a whole thing. A lot of comics get threatened in comedy clubs. A lot of time you'll be doing a gig, and there'll be someone will stand up and just go, oh, you keep speaking like that. But this guy, it's like assassinating someone. If you say, I've got a gun, I'm going to shoot you, they'll, you know, you'll get tackled. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. But yeah. if you just shoot the guy, you know, the, the, the guy's <laughs> dead, you know. And so this guy just ran up and started punching me. Now, I didn't even know I was in a fight. I just took a couple of blows to the head. And I actually tried to reason with him while he was punching me. Like, oh, you're not all that up here. What are you, <laughs> hey, what are you doing up yeah, here pun do punching me? I think the exact term was, oh, hang on, fella. Like that. As you hang started. on, fella. Yeah. You're like, I can't believe the imaginary wall didn't hold him back. Yeah, exactly. Oh, to come exactly. Up, yeah. How, how dare you jump over all these broken barriers? <laughs> my edgy comedy is. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and so the audience rushed to my assistance and started just beating this guy up and i actually about oh, about a year ago i, I get a uh, i get an email from his brother um apologizing about what, he, what his brother did and he goes but i'd also like to say and then i go oh, that's all right mate and then he goes i've just been watching online he goes you've profited out of this you've put this on web pages and stuff like that how fucking dare you who the hell do you think you are like that i sent back an email that went mate 
the cops are giving me three years to press charges. So how about you send me? <laughs> yeah. How about you send me this email in two years' time? Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I never pressed charges on the guy. Because I was like, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna make money out of this first of all. Because it's gonna raise my popularity. Because yeah. we'll on the internet, it'll be a big thing. Yeah, a lot of people have checked it out. And uh, also, also, fucking hell, man! If if I got if, you know, we all act like a cunt every now and again. Everyone's yeah. gotten drunk and done something stupid. I chatted to the lad afterwards, and he seemed like a fairly reasonable young bloke. Really? And, he, and he was he just couldn't believe what he'd done. He's like completely. I can't, what did I? What was I thinking? I just ran on stage. I was hammered. Yeah, yeah. He was, was just completely yeah. hammered, and you know, it's not that funny a story, but no, people... it's a good story though. Uh, well, it leads to the other one. Uh, you fractured your skull. I fractured my skull in a comedy club. That was actually I had a really good gig. Um, Someone else hit you. Yeah, yeah, I had a really good gig. Nothing happened. The gig was fine. Someone got caught talking in the comedy club halfway through the set, un unbeknown to me. And the comedy club had done this thing. Hey, you keep talking, get kicked out. So right. he, in his drunken mind, he was like, oh, he's the reason I've been kicked out. Even though I didn't even have a heckling. Had no I had no idea. I had no idea. The guy got kicked out and then they go, oh, we'll let you back in for the nightclub. It's one of these comedy clubs that turns into a nightclub afterwards. Mm -hmm. And they let him back in, and he stumbled back up the stairs, saw me talking to, to somebody, and just came behind, grabbed me by the back of the hair, and smashed me into a table. And I was concussed. I woke up on a fucking, on a stretcher being put into an ambulance, Holy like this long shit. ago, with a whole lot of these girls that are on a bachelorette night in fucking bunny ears, just staring at me. Oh, my God. And, like, God. just that creepy heaven, like, fucking hell, man, what's happened? And, and, uh, and one of the girls, this is what she says, she looks down at me, and she goes, um, she goes, she goes, well, we thought you were funny. Oh, <laughs> like, shit. that was the big concern. Like, Do people still find me funny? When you're fucking laying there. So I, I go into hospital, and, and um, Jeffrey's, Jeffrey's isn't even my real surname. It's my middle name. So, so you know, stage, showbiz, all that bullshit. And uh, so I go into hospital in Britain, still concussed, under my stage name, right? No one says anything. No one checks any ID. They have me in there for three days. They actually put me in a ward that should have been called Drunken Cunts Who Have Gotten In Trouble Ward. <laughs> <laughs> like on a Just a lot of bar injuries. Just a lot of like guys with like a glass sticking out of his head. A lot of people who are in bed but with like cops standing at the end of the bed. Like Trying waiting, to get some answers. Waiting for waiting, to get a little waiting better. To get, and like, like people being quizzed when they just pull that curtain across in between. Yeah, yeah. Like what? Bit of privacy. <laughs> All right. So the, uh, the woman, she's not waking up. But when she does wake up. We're gonna get some answers. You know what I mean? There's one other guy that was just like, "Fuck it, I'm smoking, mate. I'm fucking smoking. If it's, I don't care if it's a hospital." He just, you know, cracking off. <laughs> and they did, didn't didn't even ask for ID or anything. It was about there was about ten of us in the room, and I think there was a, there was two guys who had actually beaten each other up. And they were on separate corners, still yelling abuse with a cop Jesus. standing in the middle of the room. And I'm just there with my fractured skull going, can you all be quiet? <laughs> I've got a headache. I've got a show tomorrow <laughs> and I've got a headache. I actually went and did a gig uh, a few days later and I was still like slightly like concussed. They reckon I was just, just gibberish was coming out of my mouth. It was a little off. Yeah, we, what happens when you fracture a skull is I didn't... It's not the bit they hit. It's the softest part of the skull. It's, the, it's this bit that normally goes... <laughs> Ugh. That bit because it's like it's You're pointing like, between your eyes. Yeah, it's it's that. Yeah, that's where the fragile oh, bit of the skull. Not not for everybody. Wait, Sometimes it and is. That's where you yeah. My it? my own fracture there. God and there. Damn. But it it, uh, it it just healed up. It's just crap. But I I uh I like above the bridge of the nose and I I was I was on the ambulance Ow. with like a headache that you'd fucking I thought I was about to hemorrhage and just fucking just that's it just game over done. Yeah. yeah. And the, like allegedly it was one of those fold up tables and the impact of my head made the whole table just collapse down as well, which is probably for the best, you know. Could have been worse. And oh, and uh a mess. Yeah, just a mess. What and happened that, to the guy? That was in Nottingham. Um he got this is the weird thing. He got a, a tremendous kicking off the security staff and everything there. Oh yeah, they and nailed then, him. And then the comedy club was sort of like, Jim, um, I go, I want to press fucking charges on that guy. I want to press charges. And they, they went, Jim, can we show you the surveillance camera? Oh, okay. <laughs> and then I went, right, right. right and right. they go, we'll get in a bit of trouble if you do call the cops. And then they sort of went to me. Uh, and so the, the government was very good with it. They are, uh, because uh, if you get hurt in a situation like that, they just gave me 2,000 pounds, just said, sorry about our citizen who hit you. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Sorry about that. And that money just... just... They, they call me a victim of crime. They went, two grand? All right, there you go. Sorry. 
Sorry. They look you in the eye. Un fucking <laughs> <believable. Yeah. laughs> Like, will that take care of this? Yeah, sorry about that, mate. Three? Yeah. Wow. Can't go higher than three, though. They do that there? They'll fucking toss I, the cash? I've, I've, the I've, got, I've got some money for that. I've got some money. I, I told that story a long time ago when I got the break in where the guy cut me, came into the right, house. Yeah, I've got, yeah. I got only a grand for that. They right? give you like victim but broken, pay? broken bones is worth a bit more. Yeah, yeah. Holy shit! V victim of crime. Victim of Where crime. Where does that money I, come I from? The taxpayers. I could yeah. I could have gotten about eight grand off the break in if I went to the psychiatrist just once and cried a bit and just yeah. went, I can't <laughs> sleep. But I just never did it. That's an easy payday. What's wrong with you? I know, but I feel like a bit of a yeah. You know, I dealt with it pretty good. Like the whole thing with the break in with the guy coming. With the hammer and the guy with the machete and all that, that was pretty fucking scary. But yeah. in in the in the grand scheme of things, ah, I haven't gone to war, have I? You know what I mean? <laughs> it makes a point. Like like it's that whole thing. Like like a couple of like you know, fifty years ago, you'd be holding your mate's head in a helmet, going whoa, <laughs> ah, ah! <laughs> and, and, and the government would be like, well, well done there. Here's a little bit of ribbon with a bit of metal on the end. <laughs> For bravery, <laughs> right? Yeah, fuck the medals. Jolly Give me some good job for what yeah. I saw. Right. That's what I always look at those medals. Those guys that have fifty medals. Like each one of these medals is for going through a battle or doing something fucking awesome, right? You yeah. see these old blokes like like killing like five Nazis. There's <laughs> there's a medal for you. I even look at that about Olympic athletes. It's like some guy gets really good at pole vaulting, and you're like, really? And in the end, you get just a round disc. Yeah, medal. Is there the money? Do, is there, when you get a gold medal at the Olympics, I, is there money? I don't think so. No, there's like endorsements now, but they yeah. don't pay yeah, but there's you to, something, to win. There's some things yeah, that most of the never people, get endorsements. Yeah, people most of like, the people that win the medals. People. Oh, they don't. Yeah, they don't no, get no, shit. No, no, no. Only, like, only a handful get actual endorsements out of their achievements. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah most yeah. of the medal winners you forget about a month later. Yeah, the sport, the sport is like if you come fifth in the 100 meters, you're the fifth fastest man on earth. <laughs> There's no money in that, is no, there? nothing. And that's like the, one of the most important events. <laughs> yeah, you're the yeah. fifth S most. Speaking of sports, uh, what do you know about cricket? I love cricket. Well, cricket is blowing up in this country. It's not blowing up. They had enough. a fucking article in the paper. There's like cricket leagues all over New York City. Shit, man. Ah, uh, I, that's, I bet you that's just expats. That's just British people. Oh, and Australian I've seen. People. I've seen. No, it's you a lot of Caribbean it? guys. You see them in the parks oh, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're West taking Indies, over the, the parks. West yeah, West Indies. Indies. With their cricket uh, in Central shit. Park and it's, shit. It's the, it's yeah. it's the yeah. second Park, second most popular sport in the world. Why though? Because I India are into it. They're, it they're one six of the population, and that's the only sport they play. Well, so I don't get it. What are you supposed well, to do? Yeah, yeah. It, looks, I, like, it looks, looks like baseball, it, but it's not. No, it's nothing like baseball. It's it's a slightly more skilled game um, than baseball on the account that there's different forms of bowling. The ball bounces. You're working off a pitch. That uh, it's a five day game, right? This is what you got to remember. The game each game goes for five days. <laughs> five days. <laughs> Oh, and and it will probably end in a draw. Oh shit! Oh my god! Oh, is that Who has time for that shit? When did they cut that off the beer awful. after the fourth day? They used to, no. <laughs> yeah, right. They used to play back like eighty years ago. They used to just play. We play the game until it finishes, mm -hmm. and twelve days or something. There'd be some cunt Why that would just. Why does it take so long? Why can't they do it in an afternoon? Yeah, what the fuck? They, they also have one day cricket. They had to make it more exciting. So they've one got days one day's too long. Day. One day's. They've got twenty twenty, which. Is still half a day, but um, that's the smallest one. But it's not very good. What, half a day. one day cricket. Why is right. half a day good? Because you can't get everyone out in that time. So everyone's just trying to slog it over the fence. There's no real skill to it. T Test cricket's where it's at. The five day game is tactically one of the most exciting things. You know, it's it's all about what's going to happen the next day and whether they'll declare <laughs> oh and, and and can this guy, like there's guys you can make. I have no clue uh, no. what this game because, is about. It, it, that would it would take five fucking days. Like, let's say you score a hundred runs, right? You get a century, right? Uh, that's a called century. a century. Yeah, and then you get you get runs. You get like Don Bradman, I think, got three hundred and fifty-two, and a guy called uh, Mark Taylor Why also got three hundred fifty-two. Why does the score have to be so high? That took him that took him three days to do that. Right, Why just does going the score out. have to be so high? Because you keep batting until you get out. So fucking catch the ball. So why, no, why no, can't people get him out? Just, what does it take to get somebody out? All right, this is Throw the, the, this is the way to get out. The next guy. You have to catch you, it with you, your be, asshole. Behind you, behind you, you have three sticks. Three yeah, sticks. Yeah, I've seen that. Right, They're seen called the stumps, and then on top of it, they have these things called the the bales, What's which that? are little tiny sticks that rest on top of the sticks. Yeah. Right, and your idea is to knock these things off. Right, so there's several ways you can do it. You can bowl a ball directly into it, 
and that will knock it off. You, if someone puts their leg directly in front of it and the ball's coming directly at it and it's, it's below the knee roll so it wouldn't bounce over, the umpire can go, that would have hit the stumps. So that's out as well. You can catch the ball. You can get caught behind if you just chip it. The guy behind can catch it. You can also you, you have a crease that you have to stand in, right? <laughs> and if you go out of that crease, the guy behind, the wicketkeeper, can catch it and then smash your bales off, right? That doesn't happen very often. That's right? And then you can get run out where you have to run back and forth for each one of your runs. <laughs> That's so tough. And then you also got, this is how you score your runs. It's baseball for a retarded You've got, You can get six runs if you hit it over the fence. What fence? For the, the, the fence where the people are sitting. Is what there an out of bounds? like a home run. The boundary. Is there an out of bounds? That's the fence, is yeah. There, is yeah. there a foul pole? No, no foul pole. It's round. What do you mean they it's play round. an oval, so everything is fair, no matter where it no goes. No matter where it goes, everywhere around you is fair. That's dumb. They play on an oval. It's, a, this it's is like you can't, fucking it's base, mongoloid baseball. It's baseball right, so in the let's, round. Let's see. Let's see a bit of footage of this, right? Why? Yeah, where uh, well, Travis has just pulled up. Pulled up. All right. So you see here, you can hit it anywhere. <laughs> there. It's a very big area. Yeah, it, it says England leads by forty-five runs. How do no, you, so that's nothing. That's nothing. I, I, uh, apparently. How do you hit it like behind you? There you go. It's just chipped off him. Oh, okay. <laughs> what is that? Yeah, that, that there. It sounds like he's the commentator. This now, is great. Now you've got different things. you got, you got, that's, that's, that's a pace baller. Yeah. Uh-huh. So now the, the guy with the bat is trying to defend the fucking, uh... he, He's trying to defend it and hit it. Now, that's a, that guy's just bowling quick. The guy called Glenn well, McGrath, right? He was a very good pace baller. Then you've got guys like spin bowlers. They do it slowly, but they flick it. Now, this thing that they're bowling on, this strip, right, is, is called the wicket, right? And over yeah. the days, well, all it is is they just put a bit of tar, like a bit of tarpaulin over the grass. That's just a dried up bit of grass. Right. They make all the rest of the grass really nice. And they make that bit into shit. Right, and over the day, cracks will emerge, and it'll get really like you can shove your car keys in them, like proper proper cracks, right? And and the idea is to bowl it at the cracks, so it might go in all different directions, and oh, kind of use it uh, to give. Yeah. Then now the guy throwing the the ball, and it's I guess. it's a harder ball than a baseball. Yeah. It's more solid. He's trying to knock down the sticks. Yeah, knock down the sticks. So he might just and try to bowl it at his head or something. All right. Why the fuck is the up in the way? Now what's the guy? No, with he's the... standing at the other end. Wait, what he's... other end? There's two batsmen out at a time. Oh, okay. And they'll run back and forth, you see. Oh, I got you. I didn't know that. Yeah, and, and you get ten batsmen and you get two innings and like each batsman can get like up to like three hundred runs if he's any good, you know, but is <laughs> so about the retarded. Fans? Do they get tickets for all five days? Yeah, fuck yeah. Or sometimes you have the to spend a week at a some, baseball game. Some, so stupid. And, and, when and they work. you start at ten. Monday through Friday. You start at. It goes from ten till six. It's an eight-hour day. That's that's a long day. Yeah. Oh, hey, fuck you. Yeah. Eight hours. And, and it's blisteringly hot. Oh, you get you get drunk. Now what happens if you knock down the fucking sticks? He's out. And when you bring another batsman in, we've got ten of them. You get ten outs. Well, you get nine outs because there's two at a time. Because okay. the last guy can't stay out by himself. Right. What? So, <laughs> so he's not out if put, he put put Shane Warne bowl of the century. Put Sh Shane Warne. I'll show you. This is the best best bowl that anyone's ever done. How can we tell? Because I'm going to explain it to you. And what's a wicked googly? A googly is a ball that, that goes the shit, other way. Right? So spinball will go that way. Googly will go that way. So it looks like it's coming out of the hand that way. Shane Warne, Warn? not Ward, not Ward Warne. W a r n e. There we MP. go. Ball of the century. Here we go. Look at this. Look at this fucking thing, man. Look at this. All right, we're watching Shane Warne. This this, this guy this guy's the greatest bowler ever. Like he's like the Michael Jordan of cricket. And you can tell? It's ESPN, the yeah. legends of cricket. See how he was out of his blonde no, no, Shane Warne nothing. arrived on the uh, international that makes scene sense. in 1991. I... Oh! Straight through his legs. I don't get what I just saw. I understand. And, and this guy here. He developed a myriad of spin variations. <laughs> look at, look at, look at. Going on to bowl what was to be described as the ball of the century. So oh! the I have no it went idea. through the bat and the pipe. I don't. But it, went, it bounced there and then it ended I, I up there. I don't understand what we just saw, for real. The guy, the guy with Look the, how much it moves. I, I don't. Of Australia's the guy with the bat thing is, is, is like the goalie. He's defending the sticks. He's like the bat. Like, but yeah, the same but way wait, 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 wait. He's, his job is to fucking defend the sticks. Defend the sticks and make runs as well. And make runs. So if he smacks that fucking thing, yeah. but it doesn't go out of the park. He can still run back and forth. He can run back and forth and do what? 
Each each time he runs the distance, and like the other batsman has to do it as well, so they have to go run one, one, two. two. Okay, so right. he's making runs. Right, so you can do like you can basically and then get until, three if you until hit. what happens until so they hit the sticks. And then no, 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 wait, 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 wait. <laughs> They're running back and forth. They're <laughs> running back and forth. When do they stop running? Well, they stop. They stop running because if you're caught running there and someone hits the sticks and you're not back in your crease, you're out. So what? When when it looks so like it, they could hit your sticks, you better get back in yeah, the, you somebody's the, gonna, the slot. So so you knocked the ball somewhere. Yeah. So somebody went and got the ball. Yeah. And now he's running. He wants to get those fucking sticks. Yeah. He wants but to get you're running sticks. back and forth, and you look and you go, "I better get back to my sticks." In the same way that you got to reach the bag in baseball before the before don't, the other guy gets Don't compare this All to right. baseball, my friend. I'm get. I I, I kind of understand that part of it. All right. Now now holy now, shit. There we go. Is that see when they wear the colored clothes like that? This is one day cricket. But uh, there we go. Look at that bastard just whack it up. Now here's the, here's the hand signals. That's just like watching a home run. Here's, okay, here's that's that means six. That means six, right? Why does two mean six? It just it just does, right? <laughs> and, 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 and and that there means you're out. That there means you're just out. A one, just holding a one, holding a one up. Right, but if you, if you get four, you get four. It's this one. <laughs> You're making like a little wavy you motion like with your hand across with, your body. Across right. your body with yeah. one hand. Let me say hi to Alex. He wants in on this, uh, Alex. Hey. Hey, hey, Jim, ex please explain, because I remember some guy trying to explain this fiasco to me in college, how you bowl the ball. Is it true that they have to run up and then throw the ball with their arm perfectly straight and have to bounce like two or three times? No, it, only, it doesn't have to bounce at all. That's, that's a fallacy because you can do one that's – most people do bounce because then there's a variance on the ball that makes it harder for the batter to hit because it could bounce in any direction. Your arm has to be straight, like an above your head in a fluid motion. But you can actually, it is legal to do it underarm, but no one would ever do that. Yeah. So if your arm's like bent like, like that, you're called a chucker, and that's like just calling a guy gay in a bar. <laughs> Someone's called like a chucker. It's yeah, to be a chucker. chucker. Yeah, but you've got to, you got, you got to run and then over the top, bang like that. Right. And it's a natural motion. So like, like bowlers in cricket aren't like pitchers in baseball where the, the, their, their arms go to shit time. or whatever. Yeah. So, Punching it. All right, so, so now now the guy just hit the fucking thing. Now he's got to run back and forth. Back, well, he doesn't have to run back and forth. He can just stand there if he wants to. Oh, oh look at that one. Was wow, a good one. that was a good one. What if, you, only, what if only one comes off? Are you humoring a man? How do you know can that's that happen? A, you're starting to understand this a little bit? That can't happen, right? One. Uh, oh, oh, he hit it back onto his thumbs. Fucking idiot. Oh, now, the, now they're showing some of the fielding where the guys are jumping, grabbing the ball, throwing it back. Now, yep. now this is impressive. If you do classic catches, that ball is like concrete. That's a lot harder, and they've got no gloves. Why don't they have gloves? Because we're men. <laughs> what if you catch it? Oh, if you, ca if you catch did. it, you're out as they well. They just showed that guy fucking catching it. Look at that shit. I don't know. All right, so this guy's catching it. Oh, well, he well, fucked well, it up. He bobbled it, but he'll get it. Watch. There we go. Yeah. He's all right. Wicket keeping. Now, the wicket keeper's got gloves. The guy at the back, but he's like the catcher in baseball. Now, you see how he's standing close? That's for a spin bowler so he can knock the bales off. But if there's a pace bowler, he'll stand way back like that because the ball's traveling so fast. Can he throw it at the sticks from behind? Yeah, he can't really, but he normally just palms it off to someone and he's got both hands free to chuck it oh, out. Oh, my God. All right. Un-fucking-believably hey. confusing. Shoddy uh, Carpenter is reminding us that we have the ball of the century video clip. Yeah. Yeah, we do. Where's Brian? Oh, There's Brian cool. Lara. Hold on, I'm going to write something for Danny. What the hell's that? Continue. We have the ball. This Brian Lara, he's one of the great cricketers from the West Indies. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, there yes. you go. Now we he's want... running back and forth. Yeah. They're South Africa. They're dirty bastards, South Africans. <laughs> dirty bastards. They explain cricket in four minutes on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, it says, this is cricket, this is cricket four. four minute overview. No, not the Jim Jeffries 10 minutes. And then just run. I had no idea what you were talking about. <laughs> now I kind of understand a little bit of what you're talking about. And now if it goes out of the fucking... And it's a flat bat, so there's a lot more a lot more shots you can do. So you can chip it over, you can whack it yeah, hard, you can, you can just flick it over. And you can, you can put the fielders wherever you want. So there's a lot more tactical sport because like with certain batters, they'll move them all in, or yeah. with other guys, they'll move them out to the Now bag. if it goes out into the crowd... Six runs. That's six runs. Six, that's pretty good. The that. guy doesn't have to run back and forth six times. Nah, he just fucking lives, he just lives in the glory. He so he puts up two fingers. He's no, like, no, well, the, the, the umpire. The will umpire go, puts yeah, up two yeah, fingers. Yeah. For okay, six. now have you ever watched Aussie Rules football? <laughs> Aussie Rules football. Now I can talk. Now put something on Aussie that Rules shit football. Is fucked up. It's, uh, I don't even understand. I don't even understand it. It's a Melbourne thing. I'm from it, Sydney. It kind of has a little rugby and a little bit of rugby, a little bit of this. Put put Aussie Rules best marks. You ever seen Aussie Rules football, Ant? 
Yes. Holy and that's where they score shit. like this. They score that. So you get six points if it goes to the middle. And if it goes, if it misses, but just by a little bit, you get one point, right? Because Australia have that mentality of, oh, you had to go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you had it. Give him a point, you fucking asshole. He had to go. <laughs> he had to... Holy shit. I have fell at its best. Here we go. Look you at this. You can't just give a, a, a point. Yeah. Because he. Here we go. He... Yeah, all right. Oh, oh shit! They hit no hard. No fucking pads. They're insane. But they're they're all tall. It's a catching and kicking game. Yeah, they just catch and kick constantly. That's all it is. Oi! <laughs> Look at these fucking crazy <laughs> bastards. <laughs> oh they're shit! Fucking animals. No shoulder pads. No helmets. No, not even sleeves. They're just fuck. Yeah, no, they're wearing shorts. And you know, if they want to pass the ball, they can't throw it. You no. got you got to have it in the hand, and you got to punch it out with the other hand. Are you shitting me? No, you got to say the possible. You got to go. That's like silly. That. Well, the idea is that if you have one arm free, you can't hand it off. You just got to let go of it. So oh. they try. They try to disable you. So that's six through the. Ah, there we go. Look at that. What a wonderful what do you sport. Mean, there we go. There <laughs> we go. Oh, look at that. What a wonderful sport. <laughs> <laughs> it's like fucking. We're looking, going. I have no idea what this is. This is like being an alien. Yeah. Yeah. But women, women, see, these big things, they jump Holy on each other. shit. They, they jump, jump up on, each... on each other to get up high enough yeah, you're to allowed, catch you're the allowed fucking to put, ball. You put, you're allowed to put your knee into the other person's back and spring off the other person's body. They and like, and like, they push you up. Yeah. As you're jumping. So, oh, they, so you they, get like they, 20 they're feet getting, in the air. Yeah, well, they're getting about, you know, sort of 10, 12 feet in the air. You know? Oh, and then the I remember seeing the ref do this. He goes, <laughs> he, he like, he like points his... Two fingers out. Yeah, that, oh, that, that means six. That means one. It depends on which six side. Six and one again. Yeah, that's six or one. But it's one All finger. Right. Uh, Alex wants in here. Alex <laughs> from Omaha. What's up, Alex? Yes, I'd like to call Jim Jeffries a cheat because they fucking do do underarm bowling. Oh, uh, here, here we go. All right, let, let me yeah, explain. Yeah, let me yeah, explain. Let me oh, explain. Oh shit. Let me explain. Yeah, oh yeah, my god. Good. Okay, this this what man this man we're talking to. Yeah. Stop it, young New Zealand man. Now, this this man that we're talking to is from a country called New Zealand, a small known country, which is basically Australia's retarded little brother. <laughs> now, a lot of sheep fuckers now, there you know, too. A lot more sheep than there yeah, are people. Yeah, now, yeah. now the thing is, the thing is, what happened is many, many, many years ago. In the, was it the seventies or the? It was in the eighties. In the eighties. It, it was late eighties. Late eighties. Um, the Chapel Brothers, who are this, this famous cricketing people from Australia, <laughs> Australia looked like they might have lost this game, right? And they had one oh, ball left. And if the, guy, if, the guy, if the guy hit, the New Zealand player hit four runs, we would have lost the sport, right? So very unsportingly, the Australian guy bowled it underarm along the ground so it couldn't be hit. Oh. And then just went, look, it was just being cuntish, right? right? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's <laughs> just, just, being, yeah, just being cuntish. Yeah. But it happened in the late 80s, and the New Zealanders, if you meet them, they're still fucking upset about it. <laughs> 86 World Series, Mets and Red that's Sox. Right. <laughs> Bill Buckner. That's the same <laughs> the, fucking thing. The Red Sox <laughs> fans understand. Yep. Uh-huh. Ah, uh -huh. damn. Okay, <laughs> fucking Rick from the Bronx is hysterical. What, what, what? <laughs> He's like, what oh, he okay. said Hold about on, us. Man. Yeah, let's go there first. Uh, Rick in the, the Bronx. What's up, man? Good morning, gentlemen. Mm -hmm. Hey. This is like trying to teach uh, chess to a bunch of monkeys. <laughs> it's exactly what I, when I saw that, I'm like, I wouldn't try to, to teach monkeys. Americans chess. I don't think you'd ever figure it out, would you? <laughs> All right, guys. We love chess here in this country. No, you checkers people. What's a, what's nah, a, checkers all Jewish is... people in the park like chess. <laughs> what's a smelly? That's a, what's a smelly? Just yeah. say that's the same everywhere. I mean, the smelly. Okay, because I think dog shit sniffers trying to do a John Sterling. The smellies win. Oh, I don't know if that means anything. <laughs> I have no I idea. Just, I'm looking. For no, it. I don't. <laughs> all right. Let's I, go to Kellen in England. Kellen. Hey. Hey, Kellen. Hey, I'm sticking up for Jim here. Fucking baseball. It's not that hard to understand baseball, and then we try and explain cricket to the Yanks, and they just fucking lose their mind. It's really not that hard. Uh, I'm starting I, to realize that it isn't get, that hard. I started getting the hang of it. As soon as you realize that, you got to like stop thinking about baseball. Look, also, fucker, it, it, <laughs> it's not quite that we're retarded, but the explanation, I mean, I love Jim Jeffries, but his explanation <laughs> sucked the dick. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I've never been a good tutor. <laughs> Uh, Larry King's checking in, Anthony. Larry Jim. King? Yes, the Larry King. Larry! Hey, Jim, I want to ask you a question. Actually, how important is the wicket and cricket? And is there any coincidence that wicket and cricket rhyme? <laughs> <laughs> like a, Larry
Larry King question. Very <laughs> important, and yes, there is. What the fuck is a wicket? I just, I just that's explain that, it to you. That's that strip what that the f- guy uh, bowls the fucking ball on. But each, each time you get out is called your wicket as well. They yeah. had f- nine oh, wickets really? today. They had six wickets today. If you get yeah. a wicket, that means... Mm. And it's also... Uh, wicket was the youngest member of the Ewoks from the third Star Wars film. So, mm. Really? <laughs> you know, one of the dwarfs in the little bear outfits. I enjoy a good of course. game. That's what, that's what I always think about. Do you reckon George Lucas... Like, how many dwarfs do you reckon he knows? Like, all up, George Fuck. Lucas. Fuck. All of them. He's yeah, got to know all of them, right? He's got to know a lot of dwarfs. George, George Lucas has got to know... If I, there, there's, a, there's, a, there's a dwarf in... that uh, does stand-up comedy in L.A. Really good guy. But he's always surrounded by porn stars. Like really? all my favorite porn stars, he's like, because he's done a couple of walk-ons. He never fucks in them, but they, they always need a dwarf just to do it, like yeah, play a butler make, or make something. Make it goofy. Yeah, make it goofy. Yeah. Right? <laughs> and so he's just fucking surrounded by porn stars. I'm like, fuck you, me. Out of all the disabilities, I think dwarf's the one that I'd want. Really? Because if you've ever met like a real good dwarf, like a real small midget or a dwarf or something, they'll just go up to a girl and pinch him on the ass or go up and sit on their lap inside a nightclub and just go, ah, what are you going to do? <laughs> I'm a dwarf. I'm a dwarf, right? But people with cerebral palsy, it's just creepy, you know, <laughs> when, yeah. when they're using their pinching stick. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, ah, ah. Or, or a quadriplegic uh. just sticking out their tongue at people on the side of the road to oh. buy pens off them. Like, like a dwarf, at least it's like, a, hey, hey, what are you going to do? I can dance for you. <laughs> I saw a show on, uh, what the fuck was it the other night? Uh, like weird couples. A&E. And, and this one, this one guy, normal kind of fucking. Oh, no, TLC. Yeah. Nor- normal, normal guy. Right. Is with this woman who is a little over two feet tall. And she had a completely normal head. Her head looked like kind of a good looking blonde was, she woman. She was a bubble girl. head. A lo- good looking, like, blonde chick. No, she, oh, no, I wasn't she a, good looking. I know what you're talking no, about. No, no, no. Are, they, are they dwarves married? married? No, no, no. Oh, he, okay. He's totally normal. Oh, okay. It's he's totally normal. Sorry. She is like, Vertically she's this blonde. No, that's not her either. <laughs> no. she She's like this blonde chick. And, uh, and, and like, her head is normal and kind of looked all right. But her body was so fucked up. And it was one of those, like, like she was squished her in something I, i'm not i can't, I can't be sure yeah, she's not that hot no no i don't think it was her either you just be getting a lot of tall, engaged jobs, to a six foot four inch man might be i don't know that's that's a little weird there was no? a girl at the comedy club the other day that had like <laughs> oh, who's normal looking but had like flamidum yeah, white hands just out of her shoulders oh, oh little oh, flipper right? hands but she was fucking hot man Oh. And this is, I just wanted to ask her because her hair was so nice. How did she do her hair so nice? <laughs> you want to ask them. You know, when did that? <laughs> like, that's the guy. But it's it's so fucking funny. He carries her around everywhere. Yeah. Like, he carries her like a baby. Well, wouldn't you? You don't want to wait around all day. No, just I know. Go to Starbucks. Forever. I don't even think she could, like, stand. She's, like, she's really fucking small. And then they had a baby. Well, just... Just cover the rest of her up, and you wouldn't know. Yeah, but that's difference. what I think what just happened. Like, like he probably got head. hammered. Just have a lot of tall tables in your house. He probably yeah. got hammered, and, and put she put some pillows and stuff. under the blankets and pulled the blanket up to her neck and yeah. gave him a really good blowjob. <laughs> oh, oh, what you do is what you do is you get her in bed, and then you strap the body of a blop doll onto her neck, <laughs> God. like like ah. like you're fucking a full size human. Yeah, a human. <laughs> and then like the the bonus is the bonus is you get to punch her in the ribs, <laughs> like what you really want to do with a good lady, but it's just a blob doll, and she can fake the screams and everything when you're really just punching her in the foot. Oh, shit, uh, like That's... a real life human. <laughs> You know, that that would be something. That's a good one. <laughs> uh, I just saw that, and, like, he's carrying her around. And yeah, and like, like when Yoda's carried around by Luke Skywalker when he's going through that yeah, test. Yeah, 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 through the test. That's, <laughs> how, that's how he's carrying her around. And a little backpack. Do you and... judge me by my size? No. <laughs> <laughs> Steven S. for Bayshore. George Lucas is the king of the kickables. Yeah, he seems we'll call him to, kickables uh, on the show. Thanks to Stephen S. from Bayshore. Ki- you don't call yeah. him kickables. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, here just... we go. Here we go. There she go. Yeah, we're watching her. Um, oh, she's got a bit. Oh, she, is she, is she, she must be pregnant. I think there. she's pregnant. pregnant. And she's going down the stairs on her ass. You yeah. know what her ass must look like? Yeah, she's not allowed to go on a regular roller coaster. Oh, and and there, there he goes. He's got, he's got to carry her up the stairs. Oh, my God. She could get up the stairs. Oh, no, the legs don't work, do they? I don't know. You've got to teach that girl a good handstand. 
<laughs> a little walk around on her fucking hands. That's, that's got to be a nightmare. Or like yeah. a dog. Like, you know when a dog's got worms and it drags itself it drags on its, its ass? ass. Yeah, yeah. Through, the, through the middle of the legs. That's exactly. A, that's a way of getting around. People want to know, uh, Jim Jeffries, why the cricket bat, this lady trucker, uh, is looks like a sawed-off boat oar. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory, isn't it? It's it's a, it's a flat bat that you just yeah. you just well, hit the ball how with. How would you use a baseball bat? Because you then the game a lot harder, then the, and a lot faster. By then the, the way. game would only last like a day. Like you wouldn't. So what's wrong with that? One day. That's crazy. Yeah. No, you know, you, <laughs> no but it's, it's, it's got to be that, five but, days. But with that bat, you can play. Five days? You can yeah. play different shots. You can defend with it. You have a goalie stick. You're not going to have a fucking round bat for a goalie and, stick. And you how many? You got to angle it. How many yeah. games in a season? One. Oh, not many. <laughs> One game in a like, season. No, no, they'll play like a five-game. You wait five, game, like, five Australia, fucking days Australia and your team just, loses. Now you got to wait another five days to get your first win. Australia just lost the Ashes, which is like the big thing that only comes up every two years. Like the biggest thing in cricket. It's, it's a tournament between Australia and New Zealand. And we don't really support like your county teams. and your, like the, I, don't, I don't go for the Sydney Tigers or something. You know what I mean? You just yeah. follow the national team. And the national team will play maybe 15 tests a year. I got... Um, I got uh, some may, audio. May, maybe it might be like 10 tests here. I'm not sure. I got audio of a cricket game. Do you? For yeah. real. Listen. <laughs> Literally, yeah. Ah, so. oh, don't be like that. What do you want to do? Mild, mildly. Ra so this is, this is the weird thing about, okay, in, in uh, Britain, the most offensive word you can say is the word packy. That's as bad. Right. As, that's as bad as the N word, right? I think we've talked about this before. Yeah, we have. Yeah, and uh, that's the the thing is we play in Australia. It's not derogatory, short for Pakistani, and we play we play uh, we play Pakistan in the cricket, and the England English are always amazed because there's big billboards all around Sydney that be like the Packies are coming. <laughs> oh shit! Right for us, it's just like the word Aussie, and the English people just they're all underneath having photos taken. You know, a <laughs> bit of ironic racism. They love it. Yeah, <laughs> they love it. That's the that whole thing about like like with with racism or something like that. If you see a billboard like that, you'll still have a photo taken in front of it. You know, no one will ever be upset. It's a, it's, I've got this theory at the moment on uh, on. I had a mate who said to me the other day that women have become sluttier than they used to be. No, it's not. It's yeah. just that we don't have to develop film anymore. <laughs> you know what I mean? You make a good point there. It's it's like it's like we like this whole idea of doing um, like. I've got girls sending me pictures of them naked on their phones. Yeah. Right? That, that never used to happen. No. Not that they're sluttier. The technology's just let them become the sluts they want to be. You know what it would have taken to actually get... Because it, it, it's usually a spur-of-the-moment thing. You text in, you call, you hey, how about you send me a little picture, see what yeah. it looked like, and then you get the picture. You know what it would have been like? Yeah. You know, hey, could you... Take a picture. Even if you go, go to down, one hour photo, go down to get it developed, time, right. and then well, put you, it in the mail. Do you remember back in the day when you did take a few pictures of your girlfriend or whatever, and you just went down and you tried to find the cool guy at the <laughs> at the development place <laughs> and in the you, photo map, yeah, and you were the like, guy that's not going to call the authorities. You were like, mate, can you just? But there was never. Yeah, but like even the then, it might have just been a picture on. of your girlfriend topless. Like that's as racy as it gets. Yeah, yeah, like now, I go. There's, like, if I ever become famous, famous, there is so many sex tapes of me really? out just, there that people have just horrible things that I'm doing. Jim Jeffries? Yeah. <laughs> like, fucking that dog in I, the ass. I wonder if I'm going to put it out there to any of my girlfriends, because always, they always take them at the end of the relationship. That's the one thing they take, and I'm not smart enough to make duplicates or know how to. Oh, and, and if there's any of my ex-girlfriends who are listening, just put one out there. I want to see how it does. Yeah, you want to see how that, it goes? That's really a, a level to see if your popularity is yeah. growing. You know that what I mean? That is true. If your sex tape uh, really makes the rounds and people are watching it, you know you're, uh, you're a, a, a real And I've get. got some good ones. Like that Paris Hilton <laughs> one where she just, I've got ones of me fucking a girl up the ass while yeah? she's dildoing herself. Like a good one. <laughs> wow. Terry Farrell who broke my heart, you <laughs> fucking bitch. <laughs> Uh, fucking Jeffries. Uh, <laughs> hey, Caroline. Am I not allowed to say that? Is that live? Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, we'll that's figure it out. I don't know what the fuck you just said. Wait, Wait, that's Jim I got Jeffries. it anyway. <laughs> okay. Uh, Jim Jeffries, he's going to be a hoot at Caroline's <laughs> all weekend off. long starting tonight. 212-757-4100. I got to go to one of these shows there, Jim. Got to yeah. figure one out. I got, yeah. New it, material? It, um, well, maybe not. 
Well, yes. The thing is, if you've watched the special, I'm not repeating any jokes that I did on the special. Oh, that's that's good enough right there. And um, so, There's you know, people but you've, you've watched me a few times, so you know other stuff that I do. But I've written some good stuff since then. I've, you know, I've gone, I'm working. But <laughs> I, I just look at it this way, because people, everyone, everyone who's come to see me has obviously watched the HBO special, if you've come to see me or heard me here. And um, I just think it's a little bit cheap if I go up there and just repeat the jokes that they've already heard. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. That's... People look at like, uh, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's not like it's not like going to see a rock band where you like you go yeah. along, and you're watching like Rolling Stones going. Are they playing Satisfaction again? They better Fuck play. Yeah. Them. I just want to hear the new album. You cunts. That never happens. No, yeah, never like, happens. I, I want to hear the the, the hits. <laughs> but with a comic, it's like, oh, I heard this already. Yeah. Oh, really? Did that That's happen to you shit. last week, did it? <laughs> <laughs> this just really? happened. True story, let me tell you. Yeah. Um, oh, it, yeah, yeah. Oh, you broke story? up with that girl again, have you? <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, great. That's a yeah. Because uh, comedy's just lying. Why don't we do yeah, line of the is. day? Well, yeah, it's just a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> just lies. Line of the day time. Line of the day, and then we get the fuck out of dodge. Well, we got to get out of here a little early today. Got a meeting. Ugh. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have a nap. Have we used that excuse I'm lately? Some, no, we okay, haven't good. used that one. Uh, here long. is uh, a runner-up line of the day. And maybe she went a little too far, but it, it's obvious they sat her down and basically, you know, yeah, told her calm down, pistol whipped her, and said, calm "You'll down. you'll never do that again." And then they allow Sterling with his dumb home run calls. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. make sense. That's true. They allow him to do stupid home run calls. She can't say anything now because she lost her fucking mind. Yeah. When Clemens was out, who cares? Speaking of, I, 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 no doubt who's going to be in that spot. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Oh, God. That voice. How unsexy is that? <laughs> oh, you're hitting my G-spot. My G-spot. <laughs> hey, you left where you were supposed to, Jim. Good, good. good. Oh, I know. Good one. I know. Come on. Uh, Just lies. I think it's time for oh, lies. the line of the day. Oh. Here, here comes. Mr. King, it's a pleasure. I've been watching you for years. Wow. And you're calling our show for the third time today. What do you got for the show? Mr. Z, how thin do you have to slice them? <laughs> oh, oh, my God. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> all right. I, did, I didn't right. get that. What was what, How right. thin do you have to li- slice uh, what? We don't yeah, yeah. We never there. explain the jokes, uh, <laughs> the, the, some of those jokes. We just give out the punchlines. Because with the whole joke, we would probably be fired. Yeah. I've never won line yeah. of the day. It's, it's always been a big oh. disappointment. Coke Logic is calling it the paragraph of the day. <laughs> paragraph? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I right, I've geez. had runner-up a couple of times, which has been good. You know, it's like silver. Oh, by the way, Mayor Menino was on live TV yesterday. If we could take a picture. Oh, of shit. Tomorrow, yeah, so. we need that. Who, was, who was on TV? Mayor Menino. Mayor Menino. That can't, can't speak. No. He's the mayor of uh, Boston, as Boston. he says, Boston. Oh, B- right. B- Boston. Yeah, you I, you were probably here one day when we were ragging on him. No. No? Oh, last time I was here, we had that guy who came in that went, there was no crack in that pipe. <laughs> Remember that guy? That black guy? The Washington man? Oh, Mayor fucking Barry. Oh, Marion Barry. Yeah, he was great. I, I Marion Barry, yeah. He, there was no just, crack in that pipe. There was no crack in that pipe. But let, let me just tell that. you, there, 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 there was... That, that no, one, no one knows who was in that, what was in that pipe. Yeah, no one knows what was in that pipe. <laughs> He's a, I didn't smoke nothing. He's a politician. He's I was smoking something, but I wasn't smoking nothing. Yeah, she wasn't a hooker. She was just a woman who liked to have sex and she enjoyed money. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that guy's a legend. I loved him. Yeah. He was cool. I just I remember about him when he came in was that he was surrounded by fucking carers. And I had I had vomited just before that in the garbage <laughs> bin. And we somehow nice. roped him in. And one of the carers looked in the bin and then looked at me and I was just like well, what do you, Welcome what to the show. Welcome. Right. There you go. <laughs> but uh, they were, they couldn't get him out of the building quick enough, if I remember rightly. Yeah, yeah, they dragged him right the fuck out of here, man. All right, let's get out of here. Jim yeah, Jeffries. let's take it uh, on the road. Let's support Jim Jeffries, please. Yeah, I'll, I'll be Try to go see my Carolines. You me, yeah, you're there. coming back in tomorrow. I'll come back in uh, tomorrow. Tickets for the show is 212-757-4100. All right? Thanks, guys.